So here's a quick guide to creating playlists, which is the simplest way to arrange your songs for a live show, performance, gig, whatever you want to call it. So um, I'll show you both ways. We'll do it on the uh, B beat itself, but we'll start by doing it on the editor, which is probably the easiest way. Um, obviously it requires you being connected to a computer of some description. So I'll hit connect, give it a few seconds so it can talk to the B beats. And here we go. So at the top here, we've got playlists. And if you select the playlist, um, your existing playlists are in there. So let's just create a new playlist from scratch. So down the bottom, I want to create a new playlist. Um, obviously be aware that you need um, several audio projects or songs, if you want to call them, uh, to put into your set list. That's uh, how to create those explained in a previous video. I'll leave a link in the description. But um, we'll assume that you've got a load of songs set up in your audio projects library. As shown there. Okay, so back to playlists. And down the bottom here, excuse the screen recording, uh, not about screen capture, but I'm going to show you the unit in a minute or two. So down the bottom, create new playlist. Uh, let's give this a, a name. Let's just call it Test ABC. Save. And here it is. So now what we want to do is add some audio projects to our playlist. So add an audio project, as the name suggests, at the bottom. Uh, let's pick two or three songs. Let's pick that song, that song, that song. You have as many songs as you want. Um, you could do a whole gig, or you can maybe just do probably what would be better, I think, in my experience, is a, uh, a set list. You know, if you're doing a two 45-minute gig, just do one 45 minutes worth of songs here, and then you can call on the other 45 in as another playlist. So we've selected those songs. Yeah, I want to add them to playlist, and there they are. And at this point, they might not be in the order you want to, but you can drag and drop them into the order that you want to on there. If I want to add another song... Let's put in uh, So Excited, add to playlist, but I want that the second song in, so I'll grab it and drop it into the middle. And that's it, playlist created. Um, again, you could delete these songs if there's one you don't want by using the X's on the side. Um, I'm not sure what the tick does. Perhaps for multiple deletes, perhaps, I don't know. So there we go, that's done, and uh, that's test ABC. So now if we disconnect the, um, uh, the editor, we should be able to find that playlist on our uh, device. So first thing we need to do, oh yeah, let's exit the editor. Down here, click the playlist button. And in our playlist, there is test ABC. So I can load that up. And there is our song. We can skip through the songs. Or we can play them in the order we've chosen. Okay. Um, you can also rearrange the playlist obviously from the, the computer editor, but also from this device. And I'll show you quickly how to do that, because that would be useful how to do it if you're on the fly, if you want to add some songs or, or swap the order around. So um, let's just come back out to the top. Okay, so there's our playlist. Uh, let's go into that one. And uh, maybe we want to move some of the songs around. So let's, let's say, actually, I don't want so excited, song number two, I want it as a third song. So I'll highlight it, move, go down. Okay, it's now the third song. Um, maybe I want to add some songs as well. So um, I'll go to add, I'll go through my audio projects, find the song I want to add, add it there. And maybe I want that as the previous song. So let's move that again. And there it is. And now I've decided I don't want to start that with that first song on the track. So dance on the ceiling, let's uh, let's remove it from the uh, this project, this playlist. There we go, and there's your playlist. So you may want to create a playlist on the fly. Um, let's go into playlists, which can be done from the home screen playlist or the playlist button. And we're going to create a new one. Now, the one thing it doesn't do is give you the option to name the playlist. So not that I'm aware of in the current setup. It would just give it a default name. So it's just called this one list six. So I'll create that playlist. And now let's add some songs. Uh, let's put in the air in there. Let's add another song. Um, let's put calm chameleon in there. And let's add a third song. You can add as many as you want. Um, girls on film. There we go. Let's add that. But I want girls on film. Second one. So yeah, I'll select move. Move it up. Okay. There we go. Um, and you can rearrange. So there you go. And that's how I collect, uh, create a place. It's quite quick and easy on there. Um, and like I say, you could have like a set one, set two for as many playlists as you want. There we go. Have some fun with that.